Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Never to Apart by Sujoiku. Um, Sujoiku. Um, so I think this is the first Sujoiku puzzle I've done on the channel. Um, and I'm not sure if, I think this was a submission. It may have been a recommendation. I've kind of automated my queue now. Um, and it means that stuff comes through and I, I almost never see the email. I do kind of, but it goes into a queue process and then gets tested and it sort of goes into a rotation. Um, and it means that I've missed some, I, I'm starting to miss some details and I need to get better at uh, paying attention to that. But uh, um, this one got tested and uh, I, I got told this was a nice coffee break puzzle. Um, so assuming that I'm not absolutely terrible at <laughs> doing this puzzle, um, yeah, hopefully this will be a nice quick one today um, and a good puzzle both for beginners um, and for someone to solve on a, on a quick break. I've had some pretty tough ones recently, so we'll see how it goes. Um, what's going on on the channel? Um, yeah, we've just finished the family day out pack. Maggie and I are working on a new one, but uh, let's have a look at this puzzle, shall we? So never to apart by Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. There's no obvious constraints in this. The only constraint we're working with is orthogonally adjacent digits. Basically any digit that is connected as if it was on a piece of paper, it wouldn't fall apart. So um, basically, it would form a domino. Um, orthogonally adjacent digits may never differ by exactly two. So these two digits may not have a difference of two. Those two digits may not have a difference of two. Those two difference may not have a digits may not have a difference of two. Those two could because that's not a domino. If if those were um, independent tiles, they or that was a piece of paper, it would not be connected. Um, whereas if that was a piece of paper, it it's a single piece of paper. Um, that's it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer and get straight into it. Let's give this a shot. Um, these corner boxes. So what it's telling me, and I can see this right here, I can never have a digit that is two apart from two in next to a four, next to that four. And those two digits are two and six. So I can never put a two or a six into any of those cells. So these have to be two and six, but this two means that this has to be the six and this has to be the two. So these digits are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, five, seven, and nine. But I can never put a one or a five next to three because those are two apart. So that is the way that this comes through. This nine, of course, makes this the seven and this the nine. And this one makes this the five and this the one. That's a really cool start. So can I do the same trick here? So the digits I can never put next to a seven are five and nine. So these have to be five and nine. This five makes this nine and this five. These digits are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, uh, three, four, six, and eight. Next to two, I can never put a four. Next to a one, I can never put a three. That's all I'm getting from that. Oh, I can never put a three there. Uh, I can never put an eight there. I can never put a four there. So this is a, oh, that's a six, eight pair. So that becomes a three, that becomes a four. And this six makes this eight and this six. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Let's try and do the same. Actually, I'm not going to do this one because the only thing I can't put next to a nine is a seven. But down here, there are two digits I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. So I know that one is in one of those two because the digits I can't put next to a three are one and five, but I've already got a five. But this one means that that's not the one. This is the one. Ah, see, it, it's playing with me now. Um. Now, the two can't go next to the four. So the two is in one of those, but it's not there. So the two is here. Yeah, that's a lot less powerful, isn't it? Um, and down here, I can't put the seven in any of those. So the seven is in one of those two. Now, next to... Hmm. See, it, it has gotten a little bit more tricky. Let's put in these triples. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, and seven. None of those are two apart. One can't go next to three. So this is the way that works out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, hmm, they're all three apart, aren't they? Now, six can't go next to eight. So this is a two or a five. Oh, and therefore it's a five because it sees a two. So this is a two, eight pair. 
And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, four, and nine. There is no one here, and the six can't go next to the four. So that is the nine, and this is a one, four pair. Ah, five can't go next to seven. This is the six. There's no six here. Ooh, it's starting to fall apart. Either it is or I am. Could be both. Now, I can't put six, uh, I can't put four or eight into any of those cells, and I can't put eight into those. So eight is down here, which hasn't done that much. I can't put three or, se oh, I couldn't put seven there anyway, but I can't put three into any of those or those or there. So three is in one of those two. Hmm, not sure what the trick is here. Maybe it's a parody thing? Four is in, okay, four is in one of those two cells. Because I can't put four in this box, I've already got one, and I can't put four next to two. What is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I couldn't put four in any of those. Now, this can't be a seven because seven is two away from five. So this is six or eight. So there's a seven in here, but I can't put the seven next to the five. So seven is in one of those two. There's a trick here I'm missing. Like it'll be a naked single or something. Like I know five is in one of those, but I can't put five next to three. So five is in one of those two. One is in one of those. That's probably not it. Three is down here, but it's not next to five. So three is in one of those. I feel that this box might be doing something. Four can't go in any of those. Or any of those, to be honest. I need to think outside of boxes. I kind of have been. So where's four in this row? It's in one of those three. Maybe it's more going on here than I thought. Two, oh, no, two could go up here because two just can't go next to four. Three, four, five, six. Six is in one of these three. Seven is in one of those two. Six is in one of those, oh no, six is in one of those two, but six can't go next to four. Six can't go here, six can't go here, and six can't go next to four. That is a six. There is no six in any of those. There we go, which puts six in one of those two. Now this is a quadruple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, eight, nine. Now we know two is not in any of those. We know seven is not in any of those. We know nine is not there. Oh, we know eight is not in any of those. So this is the nine, this is the two. There's no two here, there's no nine here. This is a seven, eight pair. Well, that's useful. Should have got that earlier. This four, seven, eight is now doing something, maybe. What's this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no one here. And I can't put the six next to the eight. This is the five, this is a one, six pair. I keep expecting to see something like whichever one of these had forced one of those digits, but I'm not seeing... Yes, I am. I'm seeing it right there. If this is a four, this can't be a six. If this is an eight, this can't be a six. This is the one, this is the six. Six can't go next to four or eight. So that is the seven, that is the eight, that is the four. This is cool. One, two, three, four, four, two, three, and nine. There's no two here. And one can't be next to three. This is the nine. This is the two and the three. The three can't be next to the five. So that is the two, that is the three. This is cool. Seven can't be next to nine. This is the eight, this is the seven. This, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Okay, now need to continue the fun. Need to find more fun. Where am I going to find more fun? Uh, four, 
no. Uh, yes. Well, four can't be in those cells, that one or that one. So four is in one of those now. Three is not in those or there. Three is in one of those. That doesn't seem particularly powerful. One is in one of... No. Nine is up here, but that doesn't seem to be doing it either. It gets a little tricky at this point, doesn't it? Like even those those tricks were a little, little weird. I keep worrying I'm missing a two different somewhere. Like the again naked single somewhere, and I'm not sure where. Five is in here somewhere. Now, if there was, if this couldn't be a three, I couldn't put five here. Six is in one of those. That doesn't seem to be it. Eight is not in any of those, any of those, or, oh, I've already got eight down here. I'm not sure where to look. It feels like just marking quintuples, and that feels very weird. Like one is in one of those two cells in this quintuple, but I'm not sure. Marking quintuples just feels odd. Like, I kind of feel like I should be looking for more restriction, but I'm not seeing it. Like, for example, in this quintuple, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, four, one, four, five, seven, eight. Now, there's no five in here. There's no one or four here. This is seven or eight. This is not seven. So this is one, four, or eight. There's no one in either of those. There's no five or eight here. This is four or seven. There's no seven here. There's no four here. But this is not really doing anything for me. Well, this can't be four because it'd be two away from six. Oh, and eight is down here. How do I have eight down? Oh, right. So this is a one. So this is not a one. And now this is a quadruple. This is really hard to scan. So what is these? These are two, three, four, five, and eight. Well, there's no five or eight here. This is two or four, which means this can't be two or four. Because if this is four, this couldn't be, none of those could be four and it couldn't be two. So this is not two or four. This is five or eight. There's no two here. There's no five here. But I... There's a logic trick here I'm just not getting. There is something here I am absolutely missing. What is... It's got to be... It's probably just a simple math trick. Like, there's just a two elimination I'm not seeing. So what are these? These are one, two, three, four, six, seven, and nine. 
Now, this can't be 9, can't be 7, can't be 4. So this is 3 or 6. This can't be 6. This is 3 or 6. And we know 6 is in one of those, but not the middle one. 3, 4, 7, 9. I'm not getting it. This can't be 4. Because it's next to a 2. This can't be a 3. I'm not seeing it. This can't be a 4, because it's next to a 6. I'm completely blinded by this. We know one... Oh, this is a 1. By Sudoku, this is a 1, and has been for ages. Well, once I got that one, which means this is a six, this is not a six, there's no six in here. The six means this is not a four and it's a seven, which takes seven out of all of these. Now that takes seven out of those, which means this is the eight, this is not the eight, this is the only place left for a seven. These are one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, these are two, three, and four. That's not a four, but it also can't be a three. So this is the two, this is the four, this is the three. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is an eight, which makes this a five, makes this a four. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, and nine. Now nine can't go next to seven. Three can't go next to one. Now, I could have done that by Sudoku, but this 2 makes this the 3, this the 9, and this the 2. Now, 3 isn't in either of those, so that is the 3. This is the 4 because of the 9. I could have just used that, and there's no 4 in these. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 8, and 9. Now, I can't put 5 next to 3. Can't put one next to three. So that is four, that is one. Seven is now in one of, where is seven in this column? It's not in those, it's not in those. It has to be down here and that cell is seen by that. So this is the seven, which means this is the three by pencil marks. This is now the six. This is all looking okay so far. Now, there's no 4 here, so this 4 makes this the 8, which means there's no 4 or 8 here. The 8 makes this 5 and this 2. I'm hoping this is all good so far. And these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 4, and 9. Now, there's no 4 here. Uh, the 8 looks up making this 9, which makes this 1. 9 comes out of both of those. 1 comes out of both of those. 4 can't go next to 2, so that is the 9, that is the 4. Six can't go next to four, so this is the seven, this is the six. The seven looks up making this three and this seven. The five looks up making this eight and this five, and the two looks up making this eight and this two, and that is the correct solution to the puzzle. So that's Never Two Apart by Sajoiku. That was really cool. The break-in break in, in box one and box three taught you the, the basic concepts of how it works, and then you had to dig, which is a really cool way of doing any puzzle. Here is the concepts that you're going to use and the fundamental thing you need to know. Now, think about it a little bit harder. I love it when puzzles do that. And that's what I try and do with many of my puzzles. So though this isn't about me, this is about Sajoiku doing something really, really cool and a concept I absolutely love in puzzles. So, and it, maybe I missed something. Maybe I absolutely missed something and I should have solved this five minutes faster. But, you know, 16 minutes while trying to explain what I'm sp spotting, I'm pretty cool, comfortable with that as a coffee break puzzle. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the content on the channel. And as always, Good luck with your solving.